Hi, I'm Nicole and welcome to this 10 minute morning movement sequence. So we're just going to uh, do a bit of breathing, a bit of movement um, and stretch out the body to try and lift our energy to start the day. So we're going to start by lying down on the floor. So do whatever feels right. It might be that you want to have your knees bent and your feet on the floor or perhaps you like to just stretch all the way out, it's up to you. So we're just going to bring the arms away from the body and we're just going to take a nice deep breath in through the nose first. And then exhale it away. Sighing all the air out. And again, breathing in through the nose. And then sigh it away. Now we're going to inhale, lift the arms all the way overhead. And really stretch those fingertips away from the body and then point the toes and flex the feet. So push out through the heels. Inhale one more time here at the top. And then exhale, release the arms down. Bending the knees if they're not already done so. And then just hug the knees in towards the chest. And you can just rock from side to side here. And then placing the knee, the hands onto the knees, just these concentric circles. So slowly waking the spine up here, the pelvis and the hips. And then really squeezing those knees in towards the chest, wrapping the arms around your body. You might want to lift your head at the same time. And then just squeeze yourself into a tiny little ball. And then slowly release the head and the knees down. Okay, so we're just going to rock through the pelvis here and come up onto just a gentle bridge posture. Just this, just to move through the spine first, so nothing too much. So planting the feet down, the knees are roughly in line with the hips, roughly over the ankles. Just going to tip the pelvis forwards and backwards. Because this is something that we can do first thing in the morning, we don't want to be straining the spine too much and really coming up into a high bridge posture or wheel pose or anything too much. Just a little stretch here, a bit of movement. So beginning to lift the hips now and the spine. If you've already done some movements today and you feel quite warm, you can come up into a full bridge pose. So you lift all the way up if you want to, but for now, we're just kind of rocking backwards and forwards with a gentle lift. And then come back to centre. We're going to hug the right leg in towards the body and then stretch away the left leg. And then hug that knee towards that right shoulder. And then bringing the other leg in and stretch. If this is too much on your lower back, you can always keep the other leg bent if this doesn't put quite so much pressure on your lower back here. Okay. And then if you want to, you can try to practice um, roll asana. So if this is something you're familiar with, go for it. Um, if you have any back or neck injuries, it's best just to roll over onto your side here and come up to seated. But if you want to give it a try, you can just hold your hands at the back of your thighs here and with the momentum of swinging your legs behind you, you can start to rock forward. So we'd like to have our shoulders and our neck nice and relaxed and then just rock backwards and forwards. And this is really great for massaging through the spine but it's also quite fun and starts to lift the energy as well. And then come up to seated here. So we're just gonna stretch through the side of the body. So it might be that you kind of wanna just stretch out the shoulders, move out the neck, just move in whatever way your body is kind of asking you to move. We just, within yoga, we want to inquire with what's going on mind and body and listen to the signals it's giving. Come back to just a little bit of stillness here. So you're going to bring your right hand down and your left arm's going to go up towards the ceiling. 
Really stretch those fingers wide and have that palm nice and open. And then shoulders are down away from the ears. And then just slide open to the side here. Keeping this elbow nice and bent so it's not blocking the movement. If we keep it straight then we often have shoulder to ear when we want to actually have lots of space and the neck is free. And then move over to the other side. So lift up first, find length in your spine and then just slide over to the side. Keeping this right hip down so that we don't start to tip. And once more, move the body. And as we do all of these postures, we're using the breath to help us kind of find that gentle space. So we breathe through the postures, especially if we're, if we're stretching, um, but it also just helps to wake up the lungs and purify the lungs of any of that stale air that has been sort of in the lungs whilst we sleep. We want to breathe deeply as we move through all of the postures and the movements. So I really like to stretch out my feet. So if this is accessible to you, sorry for the, the cricks and cracks of the toes, but you might want to just bring your fingertips down and then rock the knee backwards. And then it might be that you bring the knees down and then stretch out the fascia of the feet. So from the side, this looks like this just to kind of wake up the feet first thing. And you can hold this for however long you wish. So it's quite a deep, intense stretch. One that I've only just really got used to, and now I quite love it. Quite love it. Now I do love it. <laughs> quite like it maybe some days. Other days, I hate it. Because it can be really deep. Okay. And then you can just tap those hips. We're going to slowly come up to standing, so just allow the body to be soft as you do this, and we do it nice and slowly so we don't get a nice head rush, okay. And then we just roll out through the spine here, so we're going to find length in the spine first, so inhale, lift the arms, and then as you exhale, soften the knees, and then just bring your body down, and now that arms are really sort of soft and released. Just going to fold forward, keeping those knees bent, and just going to find a bit of movement here. Again, allow the breath to just flow in and out of the body really slowly and gently. And then pushing down through the feet, we're going to slowly roll up, stacking one vertebra on top of the other at a time. And then come back up. And we're going to inhale, lift the arms. Exhale, release and slide them away. And we're going to do that again. So inhale. Exhale, fully. So again, really purifying the lungs, lots of fresh air. Good. We're going to roll down the spine one more time. So bring the chin towards the chest. Allow the arms to be really loose, the back of the neck is loose as well, nice and free. And slowly uncurl. And then push down through the feet and slowly. Inhale, lift one more time. Exhale, bring the heart, hands down to the heart. Oh, it's all gone, oh, it's all gone. Let's see, 33 seconds left. <laughs> I'm so close. Can we take an exhale out? Oh, I don't know. Um. just going to finish with a little bit of movement. So we're going to bend the knees and swing the arms from side to side. So the key thing about this movement is not to care, not to think, and just allow your arms to be completely free and floppy. 
really, really fluffy. So sometimes that's easy to do this. And they haven't quite bent the knees, they haven't allowed the arms to be free. And it's just, oh, it's a great feeling when you really let go. Right. And then come back to centre, and we might want to do it forward and backwards as well. So this is allowing all of that fresh oxygen, that fresh air to just circulate through the body, and switching all of the muscles online. And then coming back to centre. And we're just going to pause and finish in Tadasana here. So Tadasana is mountain pose, so it's that strong, sort of stable grounding feeling that we can get when we just are connected with the body and it feels nice and stable. So if closing your eyes feels comfortable for you, you can try that. And then just allow the body to be still. I'm just going to take three deep breaths here to finish our morning sequence here. So breathing in through the nose and out through the nose. And allow the belly to fill with lots of air. Breathing down to the bottom of the lungs. Inhale, feel the belly rise. And exhale, feel the belly fall. And then slowly open the eyes. Notice how you feel. Hopefully you're slightly more energised slightly more freer in your body and you're ready for your day. Thank you very much for watching everybody. See you soon.